I'll tell you what, we have a very eventful drive this afternoon in the Mile High City. The soundtrack of a city can be kind of stressful. It's pretty out of control. When noise is the norm, people crave the sound of silence. Uh, yeah, we've spent a lot of time with crickets. Robin Tingatella <laughs> surrounds herself with the source of this sound. I like to grab both back legs just because I feel like I'm less likely to accidentally pop a leg off that way. <laughs> the associate professor of biology at the University of Denver knows more about crickets than you'd ever want to know. So at one point in grad school, I calculated how much time I watched crickets not having sex when I wanted them to, and it was like an obnoxious proportion of my lifespan. <laughs> like... In the last year of her life, she and her students spent introducing these insects to a city soundtrack. This is the loudest. So this is traffic noise that we recorded around Denver, and it plays constantly. So we're running these four different treatments where the crickets are either reared in silence or in 50 dB, 60 dB, or 70 dB traffic noise. The researchers want to know how noise at different levels impacts crickets. Robin's a back leg holder. I'm a straight jacket holder with the crickets. They're testing to see how well crickets, stressed by the sounds of traffic, fight off parasites. This is what our filament looks like on the screens. And then all this gunk on here, on here, this is all immune responsive. They also want to see if noise kills the mood for those looking to mate. They get more charming with time. It's very strange. Their research ripples all the way up the food chain. So if you have impacts like noise that negatively affect our invertebrate populations, that's going to sort of cascade up to affect all of these other organisms that are feeding on one another as you move through food webs. It may sound stressful. It's just science. It's a weird lifestyle, but you know. <laughs> Noel Brennan, Nine News.